Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would do a video on sowing Pinguicula grandiflora gamiae. So temperate species of Pinguicula uh, produce gamiae at the base of their hibernacula each winter. So when they go into dormancy there is small buds at the base of the hibernacula which are the gamiae and you can sow that such as uh, p um, pygmy sundew gamiae. So it's a similar process where you can sow that and it will create new plants. So that's what I'll be doing today and dividing up a few of my hibernaculas, which I thought I would show. So as I've been in the greenhouse, I've been sowing some seeds and some gamier. So I thought it'd be interesting to do that because I've got a lot of it from my plants in my bog barrels and it's well overdue to be sown. So before I start, I thought I would show what I have already done and the difference between the hibernacular and the gamier. So this is a tray of mainly um, Grandiflora gamia that I've already sown. So it's quite hard to see with the lighting in here, but all these green buds are the gamia off of the plant. And there is also one hibernacula in here, which is this bigger bud here. And I've got a pot here, uh, which is ones that I sow in the greenhouse. Most of them are outside in the bog barrels, which I'll put pictures of that in a second. And the one that I grow in the greenhouse, uh, there's a couple in here, I pulled this one up a bit um, out of the moss because it was covered, just so you can see. So this main big bud here with the almost purpley top is the hibernacula, so that is the main plant. And then at the base you can see here is the gamier that the plant produces and you can take that gamier off, sow it on the soil and that will produce more plants. So you can already see here there's a bit of gamia and outside it will be disturbed or distributed by rain which most of mine have been already which i'll show you some pictures like i said so this one is the one that i will use for the video today is i took this one out of my bog barrel just before filming this video um i'll show you what it looked like in the bog barrel a minute ago so i've just basically dug it all up from the soil with everything still attached so i haven't disturbed it at all this is exactly how i pulled it out and you can see here that there is some different uh, hibernacula, so these are main plants here. And then the gamier are the smaller buds at the bottom here. So this, um, the plants that are in my bog barrels produce a nice big clump um, when growing outside. So if I've got a picture of the plant in the growing season, I'll show. And then you can see why there's different um, points of hibernaculas here. So this is the tray and the pot that I've decided to use to... Um, I'm going to divide up and sow the gamier off of this little clump from my bog barrel. So the hibernacular I am going to put in this cutoff of an 8 cell um, grid tray and the gamier I am going to distribute in this 8.5 centimetre um, pot. The great thing about um, pinguicula is they have a shallow root system so this also applies to Mexican pings as well as these um, temperate pings. So they're great to fit in small cells, especially like this, for each individual plant. So I could even use a smaller pot than this. But to fit more gamia in, I've gone for a larger um, circumference or radius of the top of the pot, uh, rather than using a, a six centimetre pot, which I'd only put about one or two plants in. So the first step I've taken is I have filled the cell tray and the pot up with a 50-50 ratio of peat and perlite and then I have just watered it through with rainwater and then I am firstly going to start by taking out the hibernacula which are around the edge so as they've got very small root systems be um, gentle to take them out so I've got a small paintbrush here um, which I'm going to use the end of to dig out little holes and could also be useful for digging up but as these ones are already quite loose I'm simply just going to see how easily they come away so this one's got gamier stuck to it as well but if I could just hold that up to the camera this is the hibernacular which has got some dirt on there and then at the bottom is a little tiny gamier and as you can see the root system is really short on it so I'm just going to really gently take that gamier away place it on the soil and then with what I've got off the hibernacular I am going to simply start by just doing a little hole in the middle and then guiding it in like that so they're really easy to guide in due to how small the root system is and then I'm just simply going to take the paintbrush and pat the soil around the outside so that is really simple and how to 
has high vernacular in. So don't make, make sure that you don't bury it too much. So leave um, the growing point out and so you can just do the base of it just so it sits a little nicely and it's easy to tell which obviously weight up it is. And then just continue so I'm just going to take the rest of them by gently prising them away from the main plant. And then you can see another one here which has got its own little gamier, just a single one there which is really sweet. So I can either leave those on or I could just gently brush them off with my hand. So with this one I'm just going to gently brush it off like that so it comes away from the plant and I've still got the hibernacular. So if I just again place the gamier back on the soil I'll make another hole and gently place the plant in making sure not to handle it too much and if I need help guiding it into the hole then I just use the paintbrush to make it a little bit wider and guide the roots in like so and then I'm just going to continue this process with the high binocular until I've um, filled up the whole tray and then this is the finished result after dividing up all the high binoculars and placing them in their own cells so you can see there's different um, shapes and sizes this little one here which is a lot greener than the others um, is one of ones that I grow from seed so if I just quickly show you these are the ones that I grew from seed so you can see the day I sowed them in 2019 and this is their first year in dormancy so as you can see the high binoculars of them are a lot smaller and they don't really have any gamier. Some of them do have some really tiny bits of gamier, but the rest of them obviously are just individual. But this is what they look like in their first year of dormancy. And these ones were from seed, where my original plants that are in my bog garden, I got them from gamier last year. So they were already from maturer plants and gamier grows a lot quicker than it does from seed. So now I am just going to take some of the gamier off of the main hibernacular of the plant here which you can see is all around the base and then I will sow um, some of the gamier on top of the soil so as you can see I've just taken two off of the main hibernacular and these gamier are a little bit further along than some of the other ones that I've sown so as you can see I'll try and maybe get a closer picture you can see that there is a little divot in the top so you can kind of see which way up this gamier is going to go because it's got the little leaves or the shape of the plant so the gamier don't have any roots um because they're more like living buds a little bit like the pygmy sun juice and then i'll just be sowing those on top of the soil as well and then they will also form their own roots and begin to grow more vigorously um, obviously once the weather warms up so same process a little bit as the pygmy sun juice but these ones you can probably see uh, which way up they go plus they will um, find their own way up as well but I am going to sew these ones in the way that they're facing so I'm going to probably only sew three in a line because these ones can create quite big plants which I experienced from the ones that I brought as gamier last year and from a gamier they produce this really nice beautiful high binocular here which is a very nice big plant so by taking it off you just get the bottom of the plant and because they're loose a little bit like the pygmy sun juice they're easy really easy just to brush off the bottom like that and you can get a clump either on the soil or from around the base of the plant whichever is easier so just obviously with mine i'm going to carefully take the soil away from the plant so i can see the main gamier and then you've got some smaller ones like this which shows no um, new leaves or any types of form of a plant but again just sow them gently on top of the soil and then they will also grow their own new roots and form loads of plants so I've got quite a lot of this gamier because I got uh, I think I got about 15 plants which all um, divided up which you can see by the other hibernaculars that was a cluster so I got the main gamier and then being outside they grew their um, additional plants as well and um, once coming up so it left me with a lot of plants which all produced a lot of gamier. So I'm just going to continue taking the gamier off and placing them ever so gently on top of the soil. So I've decided to only sow nine 
on this pot because they get quite big and it will allow the plant space to grow and then once they start growing I'll be able to put them outside. So I've only like I said put nine here just as an example to show what they look like. As you can see some of them look a bit more like a hibernacular than the gamier but they're more flat rather than rounded and they've got some really nice shape and like leaves coming and on the original plant that I was taking the gamier off of as you can see there's still a lot of gamier which has been distributed around so again I can get some more pots or some trays or I could even go and sow it outside in the bog garden because eventually that will distribute and grow more plants scattered around out there or even leave it in this pot and get multiple plants when they come up okay so that was a quick video showing how to um, sow the gamier off of a pinguicular grandiflora this can be done for all the temperate species that create the gamier in the winter and also I divided up some of the other hibernacular which was small around the base of the plant um, as well so that just gave you a quick rundown of that and plus especially being in the greenhouse more it's made me more excited to sow some stuff so I'll be sowing a lot more seeds and dividing up fast repotting as spring will slowly approach and everything will start waking up again which is obviously the most exciting part of um, the year so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a nice day